I know I've said this a million times, but AI scares me. It's absolutely terrifying. Personally, I don't understand why we're going forward with it as a society. The question isn't can we do it, but should we do it? And the answer is no. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. I'm your host Emily and today we're counting down our list of the top 10 unsettling AI creations that are taking over. So unplug your Alexas and let's get into the video. Number 10, ChatGPT. For those of you who don't know, ChatGPT is an AI chatbot that uses natural language processing to create human-like conversational dialogue. The language model can answer questions and assist you with tasks such as composing emails, essays, and code. Yes, this might sound cool and helpful, but it can also do harm. I mean, how do you know I didn't just put in a prompt for this video and that I didn't write any of this? And what does this mean in the eyes of copyright? Would this be considered my own writing? I don't know, and I have so many questions. Also, one of the biggest issues with ChatGPT right now is the use of it in academic settings. You can just type in, write me a 2,000 word essay about the dangers of climate change, with sources included, and then it will give you that very thing. I actually tried this and it's very legit. So again, would taking that and putting my name on it be plagiarism? I'm not too sure. Globally, schools and universities have already banned ChatGPT due to its ability to produce essay length responses that sound like they've been written by a human. New York's education department has banned the tool over concerns about the negative impacts on student learning and concerns regarding the safety and accuracy of its contents. In Australia, schools and universities blocked access to ChatGPT on internet networks to attempt to prevent students from cutting corners in assignments and exam essays. So to any student watching this, just write your own essay, don't be lazy. And to be honest, I really don't want any future doctors using ChatGPT to graduate. Number nine, surveillance systems. AI-powered surveillance systems have presented a concerning shift in the balance between security and privacy. Facial recognition software is huge right now and it can be used in the wrong way. This data is vulnerable to misuse or unauthorized access. If the data falls into the wrong hands, it can be used for identity theft, blackmail, or other malicious activities, posing significant risks to individual security and well-being. All while some of the people being watched don't even know that it's happening. AI technology is able to track every step of your life, and as noted by TechCrunch, the future of privacy will likely be less about preventing surveillance and more about users consenting to how their data is used. As an example, police in Chicago recently announced a partnership with Ring, the manufacturer of video doorbells, where authorities can request access to videos from citizens' devices. Now the data is being collected regardless, but the owner has to agree to it being used by police. Now just the thought of always being recorded scares me. And and it should scare you too. Number eight, customer relations robot. There have been many AI creations made to help make human lives easier, but sometimes that just comes with more problems. For example, Promobot was programmed to talk to humans and answer questions. Russian scientists designed the robot to work in customer relations, but it made headlines in 2016 after repeatedly escaping from its research facility, stopping on a road after its batteries died. Now, despite reprogramming, the robot but kept running away and the public even showed concern at the rumors that it may have to be disassembled as a result. I would honestly just rather speak with a human, and I mean, has no one seen the movie Megan? I feel like it's pretty clear why we shouldn't let these robots do these things. Number seven, self-driving cars. Now you've all heard of Elon Musk and Tesla. They have self-driving cars, but they aren't all they're hyped up to be. One big issue with them is accident risks. While a self-driving car may stop you from rear-ending another truck, Driver, it still has a few serious accident risks. Driverless cars aren't prepared to stop for jaywalking pedestrians, and they might not sense when another motorist isn't obeying the rules of the road. They're also not suited for all weather conditions. Particularly for existing models, heavy rain can damage the laser sensor mounted on the car's roof, disabling a crucial part of its operation. Not to mention with many computerized devices, hacking risks are always possible. Once it's compromised, a hacker could access your personal data, including whether or not you're at home. This can lead that individual to break in and burglarize your property. It could also be used as a weapon, either reprogrammed to go after obstacles or behaving like an explosive. If you want to do anything other than drive while going somewhere, just take public transit or an Uber. Don't let these cars drive for you. Number six, 
AI art. You remember a couple months ago when everyone was uploading images of themselves to AI prompts so that they could be turned into a TV show character? Or perhaps they give a prompt of song lyrics to see what image they got. Now this might seem harmless and fun, but it isn't. The first and most obvious negative impact of AI on artists is the fear of job displacement. As AI algorithms become more advanced, they can perform tasks that were previously done by humans, such as creating art. But is it really art if there's no creativity and love put into it? I don't think so. Not to mention the scary AI woman that has been appearing everywhere in AI art. Her name is Lob, I think that's how you say it, and she's absolutely terrifying. Also, just the fact that you can make an image exactly how you want it could be potentially dangerous. Number 5. Automation Machines AI driven automation is revolutionizing industries, leading to increased efficiency and productivity. However, this advancement comes at the cost of human jobs. The rise of machines capable of performing complex tasks threatens various professions, leaving many workers unemployed or facing uncertain futures. For example, you know how they wiped out like half the checkouts at your local grocery store for self checkouts? Well, it might be convenient not having to interact with another human being it is costing people jobs. And if everything is automated, how are we supposed to make money? I mean, AI technology is so advanced, it could take my job. No one is safe. Number four, smart assistants. Smart assistants like Alexa, Siri, or Google Home have been helpful, but having them in your house can be dangerous. An Alexa speaker is an always on listening device. Yep. It hears everything. Now, although it's designed to only listen when called upon, sometimes it doesn't play by its own rules. The device can hear everything you say within its range of its far field microphones as it is listening for its wake word before it actually starts recording anything. But in 2018, Amazon was forced to explain how Alexa recorded a private conversation and sent it to an Echo user's colleague without their knowledge. Another time, a man named Rick Waldnick decided to ask Alexa some questions, mostly involving the CIA. The Alexa was working fine before, but acts strangely when asked about controversial issues involving the CIA. When questioned, she says she doesn't work for the American Intelligence Agency. But when Rick asks her if Amazon cooperates with the CIA and gives them audio recordings, Alexa just shuts down by itself without giving any answer. Now this could just be a conspiracy, who knows, but that answer, which isn't an answer, doesn't sit right with me. Number three. Deep fakes. If you don't know what deep fakes are, there are videos where you can put the image of someone's head on someone else's body. Now, this could be somewhat funny if you're gonna prank a friend, but it has been used for many negative things. It has created X rated celebrity videos, revenge nudity videos, fake news, hoaxes, bullying, and financial fraud. This has elicited responses from both the industry and government to detect and limit their use. From traditional entertainment to gaming, deep fake technology has evolved to be increasingly convincing and available for the public. For example, with Twitter's policies against misleading media and non-consensual nudity, there are digitally altered images of popular TikTok creators and celebrities that have popped up on the platform. Twitter searches for TikTok creators like Addison Rae, Charlie D'Amelio, and Bella Porch revealed sexually explicit deepfakes. Now let me just say, this is absolutely disgusting and makes me sick. In April, a Long Island man was sentenced to six months in prison for posting lewd deepfake images of underage women on NSFW sites. Personally, I don't even know why these are a thing, and I'm so upset that we now have to question every photo or video to whether it's real or fake. Number two, robot lovers. Okay, I can't actually say the name of these bots, but you know the people that have sexual relations with robot dolls? Yeah, that's what we're talking about. These robot lovers have a humanoid form, human-like movement or behavior, and some degree of artificial intelligence. As of 2018, although elaborately instrumented robot lovers have been created by a number of inventors, no fully animated robot lover has yet to exist. Simple devices have been created which can speak, make facial expressions, or respond to touch. Now there is controversy as to whether developing them would be morally justifiable. In 2015, robot ethicist Kathleen Richardson called for a ban on the creation of these robots with concerns about normalizing relationships with machines and reinforcing female dehumanization. Humanization. And I gotta say, I agree with this here. Questions about their ethics, effects, and possible legal regulations have been discussed since then. And you know what? I think we should just get rid of.
rid of them altogether. And coming in at number one is army technology. Autonomous weapon systems are essentially weapons that are programmed to find a class of targets, then select and attack a specific person or object within that class with little human control over the decisions that are made. Yep, we've somehow come up with even worse weapons. The technology behind some of these weapon systems is immature and error prone, and there's little clarity on how the systems function and make decisions. Some of these weapons will at some point hit the wrong targets, and competitive pressures might result in deployment of more systems that are not ready for the battlefield. Having something that has the power to take someone's life that isn't controlled by a human is scary. AI based warfare may seem like a video game, but last September, according to Secretary of the Air Force Frank Kendall, the US Air Forces for the first time used AI to help identify a target or targets in a live operational chain. Presumably, this means that AI was used to identify and end the lives of human targets. Now, little information was provided about the mission, including whether any casualties that occurred were intended targets. But AI technologies have been shown to be biased, particularly against women and people in minority communities. False identifications disproportionately impact already marginalized and radicalized groups. Not to mention that these could also get hacked and things could go downhill fast. I don't think AI should be able to end the lives of a person, and I never thought I would have to come out and actually say that. Well, that's all for our list of the top 10 unsettling AI creations that are taking over. I feel like I could write a 10 page essay on this topic because it's so terrifying and not using ChatGPT. Now, are you team AI? Let us know in the comments down below, and hey, why not like and subscribe while you're down there? I'm your host, Emily, and we'll see you next time. Peace. Thank you.